I know it is September and this is a Christmas video, but if you're anything like me, I like to plan way ahead of time for Christmas. So today I will be sharing with you my Christmas planning binder and the printables that are available in my Etsy shop. Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So like I said at the very beginning of this video, I like to plan for Christmas way ahead of time, especially when it comes to gift planning and recipes and baking and all of that. I actually start my Christmas shopping in March normally. So I thought I would share this video way ahead of time so you can kind of get your mind going on what you need to plan for, if this works for you, and have everything ready to go in a binder. So what I've done is I have all of these principles that I'm about to show you in my Etsy shop. Not only do I have an Etsy shop full of printables, but they are printables that I use myself. So I'm gonna share with you how I'm using these this Christmas season and how they all work together in my binder. So what I'm gonna do right now is we are going to go to the binder. I'm gonna share with you the completed binder, how I have it set up, and I'm gonna talk about every single printable that you can buy separately or as a bundle. So I'm going to share this Christmas planning binder with you in two different ways. I've got it put inside of a binder right now. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like when you have each sheet put in sheet protectors. We're gonna talk about each one. And then I have it individually out in a folder that I've been using to mark on and show you what each sheet looks like outside of the binder. So before I get started, there are nine different printables in here. Some printables do have two pages to them. So there's actually more than nine pages but there will be nine different listings or you can purchase the bundle. And you guys, I not only created this to sell, I created this basically first for myself. And then later on, I decided, well, hey, let me go ahead and post it in my Etsy shop because somebody else might wanna use it as well. So everything in here, I've kind of tailored to what I would be looking for or what I'm currently looking for in a certain Christmas printable. So this is what the cover looks like and it's just got this little strip and it says Christmas planning on it. Pretty simple. I wanted to keep the binder cover really simple and if you've seen any of my other binder videos, you know that I went with the same style. So all of my binders have the same binder type of cover. So I just made this one Christmas colors instead of the ones that fit my house and my channel. So inside, the first thing that I have here is this little pouch. I just got this from Target. It was on clearance the other day. It was like $1.48, so I picked up several of them. So I'll put this one in here. And you might say, why do you have that in here? Because let's say that you're doing Christmas shopping. Put all of your receipts in this little folder here. So that's what I plan on doing with all of mine because sometimes I do get items for my mom and for my mother-in-law to give as presents. So all of their things usually ship to my house. So I plan on putting all of their receipts in here, all of our receipts. So if anybody needs to take anything back after Christmas, I don't have to sort through my big receipt organizer. They'll all be inside of this pouch, pencil pouch, I guess you'd call it, binder pouch. So I know you can get these from Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree. I was just at Target. They had these on clearance, so I picked up a few. Okay, I've got a just folder here, a little divider, tab divider with a pocket in case there are things that you need to put in here, but you haven't had the time to do that. Always like to have some kind of folder 
or little divider with a pocket inside of every binder that I have. So the first couple that you are going to see are going to be gift oriented. So this is the first one. I've actually done a gift tracker in two separate ways. So this is what I'm calling the Christmas gift planner. So you've got the recipient's name here and then a detailed set of information. So the gift tracker that you will see in just a minute is not nearly as detailed as this. So this has everything from the gift you want to purchase, where you're purchasing it, if you purchased it or need to purchase it from a website, the price, if you have a coupon code, the total, and if you purchased it. So you could actually write down the gifts that you want to get the recipient and just check them off when you purchase them. So the coupon code was one of those um, categories that one of you guys recommended to me and I'm so glad that you did because that is something that I never even thought about. So if you're not part of the Facebook group, The Golden Circle, that is our positive community on Facebook. I will link that in the description below. Y'all have helped me so much with making these printables and with organizing and coming up with video topics. So please become a part of our community. The link is in the description below if you are not part of it already. And then down here, you can total up everything you've spent and put the total for that person. So the second principle that we are going to talk about is the gift tracker. So this was the gift planner, the one where it had one recipient per page and really detailed information. This one is the gift tracker. So you've got more than one person on one sheet. And this is actually one of the sheets that I've been utilizing recently to keep track of the things I've purchased for Christmas presents, my mom has purchased, and my mother-in-law has purchased. So this is a way to keep everything kind of summarized. What, who are you purchasing it for? What is the item? And then check mark it if you've purchased it. And you might wonder why I've done flags on all of these for the year. I've made sure that they are lighter color flags as well and because I thought you could put the year like 19 on it or 2019. So this idea for the gift tracker actually came from what I was doing in the back of my Erin Condren life planner. I was mapping out and kind of drawing boxes for every person that I buy Christmas presents for and I thought why am I not making a printable for this? I can just print it out and keep everything together for Christmas in a binder. So that is what I did. So I have printed out several of these already to use. Going right along with the gift tracker, this is the other thing that you were going to see in just a second that I have started using. Now, everything else I haven't used yet because I just don't feel like it's close enough to Christmas to use that but I do have them ready to go. So this is a stocking list. So I wanted to do the stocking list separate from the gift tracker because some of us give stockings and gifts and I didn't want them to be on the same printable. So same setup here as with the gift tracker. So you can put the year at the top, then each recipient has a box. So you've got the recipient's name, and then the item that you want to purchase and then check mark it off if you have purchased it. So you can definitely use the stocking list, the gift tracker, and the gift planner together. So this is a more detailed list. This is just, hey, what did I purchase and have I purchased it yet? So definitely I feel like these three could be used together if that works for you. Moving right along to the Christmas card list. Now this is something that I have used for years. I came out with this several years ago and I have used it, but the only thing that I did here is I made it so everything goes together. Everything color coordinates and matches. Before that was not the case. So Christmas card list, I made it a light green color so you could put 19 or 2019 or whatever year you are using it for. You've got the recipient on the left to the right address and then check mark off if you have sent it. And then down here, the total of cards that you sent. So this is something that I feel is beneficial because in years past, I cannot tell you how many times I've gone. Now, what was that person's address? 
Now, I know somebody emailed me that address, but do I still have that email? And then I'd have to go through the same process over and over again. I did that for years until I came up with this Christmas card list. So everything that you were seeing here, you could put it in a folder, you could label it 2019. When 2020 comes around, you could pull it out and look at all of the information. So see how many cards you sent, how much did I spend on Christmas gifts, what did I purchase for everybody. So that was my purpose. So everything could be put into one place. Let me say out of all of these principles, this has been the one that has taken the most thought the most editing, the most tweaking, because it originally started out as one page. And a lot of people on our Facebook group told me that they would rather see it on two pages. So I had to think and think and think and jot down and brainstorm until I came up with something that I felt like was beneficial to me and everybody else. So this is the Christmas baking list. And when I say Christmas baking list, I'm talking about, you know, the fudge and the candy and the cookies and all of those goodies that we make around Christmas time. So you've got the recipe name here, servings, oven temp, cook time, and start time. So I've got all of that listed here and then any notes that you might have at the bottom. Let me zoom out. So for the quote, I put Christmas is doing a little something extra for someone and that is by Charles M. Schultz. And I feel like Christmas baking is doing that little extra something during the holidays for people. A lot of people give their baked goods as Christmas presents and some people even do it as a side business at Christmas time to make a little bit of extra money. So you might wonder why I have these little check boxes on the left side. And that is because for me, I don't have, or I have recipe books, but I don't really pull them out. Most every recipe I have, I have printed off the internet. So I have these little check boxes over here so that when you find your recipe or pull it out, you can check mark it off to know that you have it with your stack of Christmas baking items. So that is what the check mark is for, just to make sure that, hey, I do have that recipe. And then the second page, which you can print on the same like front and back, or you could do it separate. I've got it on separate pages here. This is for your grocery list. So all of those ingredients that you need to purchase for those recipes. And you've got the ingredients here, the recipe amount. So what does the recipe call for? How much butter do you need? How many eggs do you need? And then the total needed. So if it calls for three eggs, you know, you just need one carton of eggs. And then the little check boxes over here are to check mark them off when you have purchased that item. And then down here, total spent. So I want to make sure that I left this down here so you would know how much you spent for baking for that year. So next is the Christmas menu list. So you notice that you have a Christmas menu and then you have Christmas baking. So the Christmas baking in my mind was for the cookies and the cakes and all of those things, all of the treats that we have during the holidays. And then the Christmas menu was for Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, however you do it. So what exactly do you wanna have as your meal? So of course I did the flag at the top and then I have sectioned everything out. And you guys, it took a lot to determine how many main dishes do I wanna include, how many side dishes. So I sectioned it off by category. I've got appetizers, main dishes, side dishes, let me zoom out, breads, desserts, beverages, and extras. Extras could be anything from, you know, plates, napkins, who's bringing the ice, who's bringing the mustard, all of those type of things. So I think that I sectioned everything off. I think that I've included everything. You guys, I have really gone through and I've tried to make sure that I included everything, gave you enough space. And this is enough space to write on each line. If I was to determine the size of each one of these, I would say this is like a college ruled paper, piece of paper, the lines between each one. 
So appetizers, you're going to have the item and then delegated to. So in my family, the way that we do it is we come up with a menu and then we kind of divide it out. So mom will bring the dressing. I will bring the deviled eggs. My sister will bring, let's say, a dessert. So we would list the appetizer and who's going to bring it. Who is responsible for those dishes? So you've got that for appetizers, main dishes, side dishes. And I left so much room for side dishes because if you're anything like me and my family we always have a ton of side dishes so that's why you've got so many extra lines for side dishes then you've got breads and then over here let me zoom out then over here you've got desserts and once again desserts we always like to have a nice spread of desserts beverages extras and then you have a notes section at the bottom if there's any extra things that you think that you might need to jot down so this just like the baking list is two pages i've got mine on two separate pages but you could definitely print it front and back it depends on how you want to do that but that is the christmas menu list and then moving on to the recipe this was something that i had originally done on my blog i lost the document i had to recreate it so it took a lot to line up everything and make sure that i left you enough space there's enough space to write on each line so i'm hoping that you think it looks good so there are two separate recipes for one page so you can cut it if you want if you want to leave it on one page it's completely up to you so you've got recipe name at the top then servings temp and cook time for your oven, the ingredients needed, the directions, and from the kitchen of. So that is on each one of these. And then last but not least is the holiday event planner. So I didn't put Christmas event planner because we have so many different holiday events that aren't necessarily Christmas oriented. So that's why I just decided to do holiday. So you've got date, time, location and theme those each have a box at the top then you've got your guest list here the menu and then i left a notes section at the bottom i tried my best to keep this one down to one page so that's why like the menu there's not really anything extra on it you can just kind of list what your menu is going to be so you could definitely use this and your christmas menu list together for the same event. So maybe you're having a holiday event. This is your summary page here and this is your detailed list of the menu. So I hope that I have made a printable that you find beneficial. I've tried to make sure I've done everything from cards to gifts to events to food. So you let me know if I did not cover something and I will definitely work on creating that printable for that Christmas event. So once again, you have the Christmas gift planner. You've got the Christmas gift tracker. You've got the Christmas stocking list. You have the Christmas card list. You have the two pages for the Christmas baking list. You've got your two pages for your Christmas menu. You've got your recipe cards and you have your holiday event planner and the binder cover. I forgot to mention the binder cover and the binder cover. So before I get off here, I wanted to share how I am using some of these pages already for my Christmas planning binder. So right now, you guys, I just have all of mine in this little red plastic folder because I'm still working on putting it all together and then I'll put it in sheet protectors and all of that. So I printed some of them on black and white because I don't have a color printer at school. So this is what I've started for my mom's gift tracker for the kids. So each one of them has a little section and I've started that. Then this is for my mother-in-law. So Kate, Derek, and then I'll check mark all of these off when we purchase those. Then my mom's stockings for the kids. So all of those are listed out. So we'll have all of that. So then we go into my Christmas list that I'm working on. So this is the Christmas list that I have worked on and then I will start everything else. So right now we have my gift tracker, 
my mom's stocking list, my mother-in-law's gift list, and my mom's gift list tracker. And I know this is all just one theme, but I plan on next Christmas season to add an additional theme or two. So maybe it's the same type of printables, but a different theme. Maybe these colors don't work for you, but maybe something else would. So definitely stay tuned for all of the Christmas printables to be added next year. So I hope that you have enjoyed seeing my Christmas planning binder for 2019. So that is my Christmas planning binder for the 2019 Christmas season. When I designed the printables that I have in this binder, I made them fit what works for me. So I'm hoping that they work well for you as well. And if you can think of any other printable that you would like to see me make for the Christmas season, let me know because I still have plenty of time to do that. Now all of these are available in my Etsy shop. I'm going to link that in the description below. But even if you do not want to purchase my printables, I hope that I've given you some ideas for creating a Christmas planning binder for yourself. I'm not just sharing this so that you run to my Etsy shop and purchase my printables, but I'm hoping I give you some ideas to put together a binder for yourself. So in the comments below, I would love for you to share with me your thoughts on this Christmas planning binder. Are there some printables you think I need to add? Just let me know in the comments below. So I hope you give this video a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.